in the Lord of Lords. Thank you to the maker of the universe. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be honored. You're worthy to be adored. You're worthy to be reverenced. You're worthy, O oh God. We bless your holy name. We say hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah to the maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah to the glorious one of Israel. Hallelujah to the one who fights our battles. Hallelujah to the one who heals our bodies. Hallelujah to the one who provides for us. Hallelujah to the God that woke us up this morning. Hallelujah to the one that puts food on the table. Hallelujah to the God that put clothes on our back. Hallelujah to the one who blessed us with our loved ones. Hallelujah to the one who's given us life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah to your holy name. We come to worship you today, Lord. We come to bless you. We come to love you. We come to receive your love. We come to receive victory. We come to receive protection. We come to receive all that you have for us and we thank you in jesus name amen hallelujah 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 praise the lord welcome 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 i'm excited about today's prayer and i just believe god is going to use it mightily so i welcome all of you that are joining on pastor greg and all of you on the prayer line i welcome you the topic today that i feel like the lord gave me for us is coming out of the desert better coming out of the desert better Moses learned that, that in the desert, he learned humility. He learned the skill that he needed to fulfill his purpose and his destiny. But before we go into today's prayer, I want us to say the Lord's prayer in unison. Amen. Praise the Lord, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, Lord, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to Lunch Date with Jesus. My name is Pat Akindude. And I welcome you today, and I'm excited about today's topic, coming out of the desert. So Moses realized he was in the desert, because one day he was in the palace, the next he was in the desert. And that's when he learned, life is not always consistent. Life is not always easy. But that's when he saw God. It was in the desert he saw God. Sometimes in your desert season, that's when you're going to see God. That's when you're going to hear God. That's when God is going to minister to you. That's when God is going to walk through you. Sometimes it is in your desert place where nobody else is. That's when God shows up. That's when God changes things. That's when God comforts you in your desert place. But the desert did not come to kill you, even though it's uncomfortable. It didn't come to destroy you, even though it's lonely. It didn't come to take you out. It is to transform you. Amen? The desert comes to transform you. The desert isn't a penalty box. It is God preparing you for your new game, for a new level, a higher ground, a bigger purpose. That's what the desert is for. That's what the challenge is for. It is to stretch your spiritual muscle. It is to do a new thing in you. It is to do a new thing for you. And it is to do a new thing for the glory of God. Amen. Let's take a look at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 54 verse 14. Isaiah 54 verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear from terror. It shall not come nigh thee. What a promise. What a promise from a great prophet of God. I want you to pray, Father, in all areas, establish me. Establish me as your people. Establish me as one that belongs to you. Because when God is establishing you as his own, oppression will not know you. He will establish you in righteousness. So, Father, today, establish us in righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. And keep us from oppression and dryness of the desert. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you be pleased with us. Every one of us, at the sound of my voice, may you find it in your heart to be pleased with us. And may we know that God is pleased with us. May we know that God loves us and he's on our side. Father, today as we pray, give us that revelation. Let a light come on in somebody's spirit that I'm a child of God and he loves me and he's fighting my battle and he's looking out for me and he has good plans for my life. Oh God, let the light light off to silence the voice of the enemy that is telling you, you are not love. God is not interested in you. Thank you, Myra. Praise the Lord that God is looking out for you. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. God loves you. He cares for you. He's fighting for you. He's your defense. He's looking out for you. He's in charge of your life. So no matter what the enemy is doing, this season of desert is not here to take you out. So oppression will not know you in the name of Jesus. The scripture I gave earlier is Isaiah 54 verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear from terror. For it shall not come nigh thee. I pray anything that is called terror. Any of you at the sound of my voice. It will not come near your home. It will not come near your body. It will not come near your loved ones. I want you to share today's prayer. Terror will not come near you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that would terrorize you. God will kick it out of your life. Anything that would terrorize your loved ones. God will not permit it. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So you get what you ask for. Ask God to make you spiritually rich. There is something beautiful about a person that is spiritually rich. Open your mouth and say, God, make me spiritually rich. Let my life be rich spiritually. Let my life flourish spiritually. Pray. It is a great foundation. When you are rich spiritually, your root is gone deep down. You are solid. You are unmovable. You are unchangeable. You are undestructible. Even in the desert, you flourish. Pray, my Father and my God, make my life to be rich spiritually. Give me, Lord God, what will cause me to prosper in the realm of the Spirit. Make me rich. Restore me, Father, in your truth, in your revelation, in your power. Restore me, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. May we have long and prosperous life. All of you at the sound of my voice. May God give you a life that is long, prosperous, fulfilling, effective, strong in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we command in the authority that is in the name of Jesus. We command every organized forces of darkness against us to receive confusion and division. In Jesus' name. Every organized forces of darkness, no matter what realm they are in, Father, send them confusion. Send them division. Do you know when there is division, there is no unity, there is no success? The Tower of Babel could not be built, I believe it's in Genesis 11, could not carry out the agenda because there was division in their language. They didn't understand each other. When there is no unity, there will be division. Don't be ignorant of the enemy's devices. Where there is no unity, there is no success. We paralyze every power of confusion, lack, lack of cooperation and division. Oh, Father, bring an end to division. Every power that wants to divide and conquer in my family, Lord, let it not prevail. The enemy uses division. I want you to pray. Every spirit of division, Father, nullify it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that every form of division, oh, my Father, nullify in the name of Jesus. The enemy works with division. The enemy works with confusion. 
it is always the enemy's plans to bring division. He wants to divide and conquer every power where there is no unity, there is no blessing. In Psalm 133, the Bible says, where there is unity, there the Lord commands the blessing. I want to pray for you. Maybe it's in your relationship. Maybe it's in your family. Maybe it's at your job. Maybe it's in your ministry. Where there is no unity, there is no blessing. I pray for you today. Receive the spirit of unity, the spirit of oneness that will cause God to command the blessings upon your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May there be unity in your home. May there be unity in your ministry. May there be unity in your business. May there be unity in your church. May there be unity in your children. May they come to know each other. I don't know how many children you have. May they love each other. May they be close. May they help each other. Let there be unity. Those that are married, you will be unified with your spouse in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the spirit of unity. It will cause you to prosper. It will cause you to excel in the name of Jesus. May the Lord send angelic assistance to help you. Every step of the way, may God send angelic assistance. May there be angels to police your life. May there be angels to work for you. May there be angels to bring good news in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Do you know what people say can affect you in a positive way or in a negative way? People's report about you. Sometimes it's true. Sometimes it could be false, but it can affect you. A good example is Vashti. Vashti, it was the king's counsel that gave counsel to the king for Vashti to be replaced, to lose her marriage, to lose her position as a queen. It was what was said to her husband. And Ruth is, on the other hand, it was the right thing that was said about her to Boaz that caused Boaz to recognize her and married her. I want to pray for you today. That anybody that will give negative reports concerning you, that will cause you to miss out on the good that God wants to do in your life, may that person's report not prevail. May that person's report not stand. Anybody that will say something about you, that will cause you to lose favor, may God not let them speak into your life in the name of Jesus. May what is said about you open door for you. May what is said about you come to get your spouse to marry you. May what is said about you cause you to find a business partner because of the good report spoken about you. Anybody at all that will speak negatively concerning your life, may God not let them prevail in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine Vashti, if those men did not tell King Ahasuerus, you call for your wife and she didn't come, do you think her husband would have let her go? I don't think so. But the wrong words, negative words were spoken concerning her. May no power speak negatively about us in the name of Jesus. May God Almighty give us victory over wrong words. I don't know who has spoken against you. I don't know who is currently speaking against you. I don't know who desire to publicly announce you incorrectly. Father, if they are not good for them, for your people, Father, let their voices no longer be heard in the name of Jesus. Words are very powerful. What people say can affect a person. So I pray for you. The people that will speak, that will cause other people to favor you. May God let them begin to be loud. May their voices begin to be louder. May people who are supposed to help you hear from them in the name of Jesus. This is a strategic prayer. We see it all over the Bible. Somebody will speak good concerning you. Somebody will speak positively concerning you in the name of Jesus. Those that will speak wrongly about you, 
they will not open their mouth against you. May the Lord send you angelic help. Let every power that is causing you to not enjoy your hard work, Father, let it come to an end. May your hard work be beneficial. In the name of Jesus, do you don't know that God's word over your life can overturn negative words spoken about you? Father, today, let every negative word crumble in the name of Jesus. Pray for wholeness in your soul. I want you to pray. Your soul is your spirit, your will, your mind. I pray for it. That your mind will be strong. That your soul will be established in righteousness. That the goodness of God will keep you going. You will, know, you will not be broken emotionally. You will not be broken intellectually. You will not be broken in any areas of life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Take a look at the book of Psalms, Psalm 146, verse 5. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. I want you to pray because I want to pray for you that from this day you will be happy because the God of Jacob is your God. May the spirit of happiness become your portion. Anything that has caused you to be sad, it will no longer be your portion. May God turn the things that have caused you sadness, may God turn them to cause you joy. In the name of Jesus, Anna Maria, may God give you joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God give you some good news. Even from today, this weekend, may God give you good news that will cause you to be happy. Spirit of joy. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will make you happy. God will cause you to be fulfilled. God will give you contentment. The Lord we serve will give you satisfaction. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will give you satisfaction. The God who is able to make his people content will cause you to be content. In the name of Jesus, may happiness be your portion. May joy be your portion, a lasting portion. Anything that the enemy has sent your way to cause you to be derailed, to be disappointed, to be let down, to be sad, to be oppressed. May God uproot it today. Michelle, may God uproot it today in the name of Jesus. May God give you a dancing shoe. May God give you songs of dancing, of celebration. You are the reason we are singing, Jesus. You are the reason we are singing, Jehovah Nisi. You are the reason we are singing. Taphony, Jesus is the reason. Almighty God, you are the reason we are singing. Jackie, God will give you a song that will not end. You are the reason we are praising, Jesus. Ha! You are the reason we are praising Jehovah Jireh. You are the reason we are praising Jehovah Nisi. You are the reason we are praising. Just picture God doing that thing that you've been believing him for. And you begin to dance and you begin to praise and you begin to celebrate. And you begin to lift him up and you begin to bless his holy name. God, you did this. I've been waiting a long time. You did this, Lord. You turned it around. You turned my life around. You've given me victory over every assignment of the enemy. Father, I thank you for the good news. I thank you, Lord, for my marriage. I thank you for my children. Father, I thank you for this job. I thank you for my financial turnaround. I thank you no more dryness. You are the reason we are dancing. Jesus. You are the reason we are dancing, Jehovah Nisi. You are the reason we are dancing, Jehovah Jireh. You are the reason we are dancing. May God give you laughter. You are the reason we are laughing, Jesus. Some of you, Jackie, some of you have not laughed a long time. Some of you, the enemy have come to steal your joy. May you begin a season of laughter. And may the glory go to God. You are the reason we are laughing. Almighty God, you are the reason we are laughing. Abba Father, you are the reason we are laughing. God can make you laugh. The very thing that the enemy has brought in your life that has caused you to be sad. May God begin to use those things to cause you to laugh. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your life, you will laugh. Through your children, you will laugh. Through your ministry, you will laugh. You will laugh again, Maria. You will laugh, you will laugh, you will laugh, you will laugh. All of you on the prayer line, you will laugh again. You will laugh again. Your tears will come to an end. God will remove the brokenness. He will mend your broken heart. You will laugh again. God will heal that pain. You will laugh again. You will laugh again. You will laugh again. You will jump again. You will dance again. You will celebrate again. You will praise God again. Praise will never again leave your mouth. I want you to say to yourself, my praise to God will never cease. I will never stop praising God. In the name of Jesus. Because he's good. Because he's done you well. God has done you well. God he will do you well. God will do you well. I want you to say, God will do me well. God will do me well. My God will do me well. He will do me well because he's a good God. God will do us well. He will do us well. In all areas of life, God will do us well. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God will do us well. He will do us well. He will do us well. God will do us well. In the mighty name of Jesus. The fire of God will consume all evil power that has been working against us. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost consuming fire. Begin to consume what has come to consume us. Consume the health problem. Holy Ghost fire. Fire, fire, consuming fire. Consume, consume poverty in our lives. Holy Ghost fire. Fire, begin to consume. Loneliness, rejection, abandonment. Consume it. Delay. Consume it. I call on the fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume every curse operating in our lives. Consume it. Consume it. Consume it, Lord. Curses operating in my family. Father, consume it. Curses operating upon my call. Consume it in the name of Jesus. The consuming fire. The consuming fire of the Holy Ghost. Begin to consume. Begin to consume what was sent to consume me. Pray that the fire of God will consume everything that was sent to consume you. It will not consume you. Distress will not consume you. The marital problem will not consume you. The financial challenge will not consume you. The health issue, it shall not consume you because right now, the fire of the Holy Ghost is consuming it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Send down fire, Jesus. Hey, Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Lord. Send down fire again and again. Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah. Send down fire, Daddy. Oh, Holy Ghost fire. Jesus, Jesus. Send down fire again and again. Holy Ghost fire. Begin to see the fire of the Holy Ghost burning everything that is not like God in your life. Burning the trouble that has been troubling you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. Begin to see it. Burning, burning, burning every wickedness of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The consuming fire of the Holy Ghost. Begin to consume everything that came to consume your children. The emotional breakdown. Be consumed. The depression. Oppression. Be consumed. The failure. The shame. The disgrace. Be consumed. The pain in your body be consumed in the name of Jesus. Cancer be consumed. Sickle cell be consumed. Fibrous be consumed. Ah, barrenness be consumed. Any form of barrenness in your life, no matter what shape that barrenness have taken, we command it to be consumed. You are not barren, you are fruitful. Financially fruitful. Fruitful emotionally, fruitful intellectually, you are fruitful. You are not forgetful, you are fruitful. Your mental state, your IQ is increasing. Your memory is getting better. 
I want you to say, my memory is getting better and better. It's improving. I'm improving in all good area. My character is improving. Pray. My character is improving. My attitude is getting better, better. My relationship is getting sweeter and sweeter. My career is getting more and more and more and more abundant. My ministry is flourishing. My life is getting better for the glory of God. Who can battle with me when God has said yes to me? Who can battle with you when God has said yes to you getting married? Who can stop it? Who can stop you from walking down the aisle? I went to Adriana's wedding. It was beautiful. I pray for all of you. I use Adriana to pray for you as a prayer point. That the same God who did it for Adriana suddenly, suddenly she got married. May that same God remember you and do it for you suddenly. The God of suddenly is the God we serve. I want you to say, God of suddenly, remember me. Remember me. The God of suddenly. He said in an instant, he will answer. The God of suddenly, may he remember you. May the God of suddenly visit you, Jackie. The God of suddenly, move in your life. Move in your body. Move in your marriage. Move in your business. The God of suddenly, in the name of Jesus. Suddenly he will turn it around for his glory in Jesus name. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, master glory. We're going to take a Holy communion. Now I want you to get your Holy communion stuff ready, get it ready. And we're going to partake of Holy communion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hmm. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve a mighty God. I want you to tell him, God, you are a mighty God. Thank you for being mighty in my life. Thank you for being mighty in my life. Begin to share today's prayer because God is going to bless you double. <laughs> the anointing is going to be double. I feel God. The grace of God is going to be double. Begin to share. Because God is good. God is good. He wants to deliver his people. He wants to set the captives free. He wants us to operate in divine freedom. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This solid represents the flesh of Jesus. Hmm. The first prayer I want to pray. Some of us may feel unqualified to partake of this. So I ask right now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you forgive us of all our sins. Any sin that could disqualify us, we ask you now, forgive us, have mercy, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the flesh of your Son, Jesus Christ. This flesh was given for us to become everything that he is. This flesh was given for us to trade places. He became sick for us to be whole. He was broken for us to be made whole. He became poor for us to be rich, rich in all areas, for us to prosper in all areas of life. He became insult. They spit on him. They strip him naked. He became a disgrace. For us to receive grace. Jesus, thank you. As we partake of your flesh today, do a new thing in our lives. Do a new thing in our mind. Do a new thing in our bodies. Do a new thing in our situation. Do a new thing, oh God. We especially want our hearts to be transformed. Create in us, almighty God, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Every wrong spirit, remove it from our hearts. We thank you, Father, for it. As we partake of this flesh of Jesus today, this heart of Jesus, this piece of his heart, we now receive the heart of God. 
the mind of Christ. We are now uniquely and fearfully made. We now have the mind of Jesus thinking the way he thinks, talking the way he talks, acting the way he acts, representing him well. Oh, submitting to the Father the way he submits to the Father. After this Holy Communion today, Father, let there truly be a change, a change in our heart, a transformation in our spirit. We thank you for it. Receive it now and thank him. Hallelujah. This represents the blood of Jesus. In his blood there is life. In his blood there is victory. In his blood there is blessing. You can use water if that's all you have. In the blood of Jesus, there is overcoming ability. So today as we partake of this blood today, Father, whoever needs to be justified by the blood, let us be justified. Whoever needs to be sanctified by the blood, let us be sanctified. Whoever needs favor by the blood, let us receive favor. Whoever needs life, Lord, as there is life in this blood, the blood of Jesus, let our life be restored back to us. Give us that life and life more abundantly. We're thankful and we're grateful. Take it now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory, Lord. You are a mighty God. Jesus, you are a mighty God. And we thank you for who you are. Hallelujah. Psalm. Take a look at the book of Psalms. Psalm 146, verse 8. Psalm 146, verse 8. The Lord opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord raised up those who are bowed down. The Lord loved the just, the righteous. I'll read it again. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raised those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. I want you to pray. Father, open my eyes, open my spiritual eyes, that I may begin to see things the way they really are. When our eyes is open and we see things the way they really are, we can make good decisions. We can take the right path. We can escape the traps of the enemy. Father, open our spiritual eyes. Pray. When your spiritual eyes is open, you have discernment. You make good judgments. You don't fail. You don't fall. You're not destroyed. Business-wise, you make good judgment, good investment. Pray. You recognize people when you see them for who they really are because your spiritual eyes has been open. People suffer when they are spiritually blind. May God open your spiritual eyes. Pray. May God open my spiritual eyes. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, raise those who are bowed down today. I know there's somebody on this prayer line, on this Facebook live, that you're, you're bowed down. Your spirit is bowed down. You're, you're discouraged. Things look hopeless. I don't know who you are, but whoever you are, may the God who picks up his loved ones, his beloved, may he pick you up. And wrap you up in his loving arms. The God of the universe. May he wrap you up in his loving arms. In the name of Jesus. May we become those who are the righteous before God. Because we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. We receive the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Because our own righteousness is as a filthy rags. So therefore, I want you to say, I am the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. That you are. And so we qualify for God to raise us up. So we qualify for God to love us. Because we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. No condemnation. Don't receive the voice of condemnation. It is not of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. 
Lord, today give us the result of prayer. I want you to pray. Father, give me the result of prayer. Don't let my prayer be in vain. Don't let the prayer we pray on this prayer line and on Facebook life. Lord, don't let it be in vain. Let there be a result. Let there be solution because of our prayer. Let there be restoration because of our prayer. Let there be healing because of our prayer. Oh, Father, let there be blessings. Let there be promotion. Let there be deliverance. Give us the result of prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the result of prayer. Let our children enjoy the result of prayer. May the Lord take us to the next level of glory because of prayer in the name of Jesus. Help us to pray prayer that will take us to the next level of glory. Father, help us to pray prayer, to make declaration, to make decrees that will take us to the next level of glory. That will deliver us from the hands of the wicked. Father, help us to pray prayer that will change our story. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 32 verse 18. Psalm 32 verse 18. Thank you all of you that are sharing today's prayer. May God bless you indeed. Hallelujah. Psalm 32 verse 18. I will clothe his enemy with shame. But his head will be adorned with radiant crown. May God, the God who defend his own, clothe our enemy with shame and put on our head a glorious crown. A glorious crown. Receive a glorious crown. Receive a glorious crown. We are princesses and prince of the Most High God. Receive a glorious crown in the name of Jesus. Be crowned with glory. Be crowned with beauty. Be crowned with peace. Be crowned with joy. Be crowned with health. Be crowned with prosperity. Be crowned in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be crowned. Be crowned with the goodness of God. Be crowned so that we can be identified as children as the most of the most high god thank you father for it we give you praise and glory and honor hallelujah god is good thank you jesus thank you lord amen god is so awesome he's wonderful he's beautiful thank you jesus how did jesus walk in the desert you know we're talking about coming out of the desert better jesus is our example how did he walk in the desert he walked in the desert with purpose. He was purpose-driven. He was purpose-minded. So in your season of desert, desert may not necessarily be physical desert. It could be financial dryness. It could be relational dryness. It could be health dryness, health problem. It could be spiritual dryness. No matter what the dryness may be, when you are in a desert, be purpose-minded. Because Jesus was purpose-minded, no matter what the enemy was throwing at him, he will reply, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. It is written. You shall not bow to any other God. It, you have to be purpose-minded. You have to be focused in your desert. That's how Jesus overcame the desert. So I pray in your desert season, it will come to an end quickly. But while you're there, God will change you. God will do a mighty work in your heart. God will do an incredible work of focus in your heart in the name of Jesus. So how do you overcome challenges to achieve God's will for your life? You live by the word because that's how Jesus survived the desert. The 40 days that he was in the wilderness, he survived it with the word. May the word of God become important to you. May the word of God begin to work for you. May the word of God begin to produce your miracle. May the word of God become significant in your life. May the word of God be powerful in your life in the name of Jesus. We shall say the word of God. We shall believe the word of God. And we shall live by the word of God. In Jesus name. Amen. Take a look at Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you pass through the water. I'll be with you. This is God's promise to you. 
in your desert season. When you pass through the water, he says, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burnt, nor shall the flame scorch you. We stand on that promise, Lord. That fire will not burn us. The water will not overflow us. As we walk through the fire, through the challenging time, through the desert season, God, your presence will be tangible. There is something about when you're going through something and you know God is with you. He shows you things here and there that lets you know, I'm not alone. It gives you such confidence. It gives you boldness. It gives you peace. Even in the midst of, you can have peace. Amen? Praise the Lord. We command the hand of Satan to be released. Remove, remove, remove. To be released and removed. Released and removed from our lives in the name of Jesus. Loose, loose, Father, the hands of the enemy to be, release us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We walk in the fruit of the Spirit. We walk by love. We walk by patience and forgiveness in the name of Jesus. During our desert time, it's important to walk correctly, to walk close to God, to walk according to the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. We lift up our voice and we thank the Lord for who he is and all that he's going to do. I want to remind you, your desert season, it did not come to destroy you. It didn't come to destroy you. Your desert season came to announce you. It came to announce you. It was Moses' desert season that announced him. After Jesus left the wilderness, the desert season, that was when God came on the scene and said, this is my beloved son with whom I'm well pleased when he was being baptized. So your desert season will not destroy you. It will announce you. Your desert season did not come to destroy you like Hannah. It came to birth greatness. The greatest priest that the world ever knew. You shall birth greatness through your desert season. Your desert season like Elizabeth. It didn't come to take you out. To put you through shame for many years. It came to through you again, birth one to prepare the way for the Messiah. So your desert season did not come to burn you, to turn you to ashes. It didn't come to do that. It cannot do that. Your desert season came to announce your God to those that don't know God, like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Your desert season came to transform you, to change you. To take you to a new level. Your desert season did not come to end your life. It came to encourage you. It came to empower you. It came to strengthen you. It came to give you hope. It came to develop your faith. Your desert season came to bring transformation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm excited. For all of you that are in the Houston area, tonight is our last Friday of the month. And I'm inviting you, come and hang out with us. It's the Holy Ghost night. We're going to have a Holy Ghost night. Press your way to come. We're going to have fun. It starts at 7. Our address is 6300 West Park Drive, Suite 310. And that's in Houston, Texas. The zip is 77057. Amen. If you wish to be a blessing to this ministry, and you're not in the Houston area, or you're in the Houston area, and you want to be a blessing to where you've been spiritually prayed for and covered, you can do so. You can send a check or money order to EMO, Empowering Ministry Outreach, P.O. Box 710835. P.O. Box 710835. That's in Houston, Texas. The zip is 77271. We appreciate whatever you support you give to be a blessing to the ministry. Amen. Thank you for letting God use you to support and uphold and under God this ministry. You can call also, make it convenient for you, 832-449-0002.
we also have a thing called the cash app <laughs> i haven't gotten too much into that yet but it works some people send us donation through cash app it's just the dollar sign emo ministry dollar sign emo ministry thank you so much may god cause you never to run dry in any area of life especially financially because he says he who waters others will also be water even this weekend may finance finances and financial breakthrough come to you from unexpected sources we bless god for you thank you for your faithfulness and you're welcome to visit our webpage drpata.com drpata.com and you can make donation there also amen so we have different options to make it convenient for you amen god bless you in the name of our lord jesus christ the memory scripture for this week is taken from the book of revelation revelation 22 verse 7 behold i come quickly bless is he that keeps the saying of this prophecy of this book behold i come quickly bless is he that keep the saying of this prophecy of this book amen thank you father for your word that is true in the mighty name of jesus everything we've talked about today concerning getting better in the desert season is for those who have a personal relationship with jesus if you don't know him i want to invite you into an authentic relationship we don't know when jesus is coming it could be tomorrow it could be later on today it could be any day but we want to be ready we want to make sure we're ready for the messiah would you pray this prayer with me say lord jesus forgive me of my sins i need you in my life come and be my lord come and save my soul i want you on this side of the earth and on the other side to always be my shepherd guiding me enabling me and walking with me today I ask for a new heart a heart after you put my name in your book in heaven Lord that I belong to you I want to walk on the streets of gold don't let me miss it Lord don't let me miss you lord don't let me be in church and don't know you don't let me serve and don't know you oh god don't let me be praying and don't know you don't let me know your name and you don't know my name i need you from this day i surrender all to you and i thank you for forgiving me and accepting me in jesus name Amen. Congratulations. For all of you that prayed that prayer, I want to speak a blessing over you. I pray that God will restore you. He will renew you. He will redeem you. He will set you free. We bind everything that the enemy has been using to hinder you, to trouble you, to, to attack you in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that is not of God, we bind confusion, we cast them out. We bind lack of focus, we cast them out in the name of Jesus. Receive clarity. No more confusion. Receive certainty to know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, who to do it with. In the name of Jesus, Jackie, may God give you clarity. Clarity in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for it. Clarity for all of you on the prayer line. Receive clarity. Let there be no more uncertainty in your life. Let that which wants to hinder your blessing and your greatness be smashed to pieces in the name of Jesus. May God increase your capacity. May he expand your ability. May God elevate your skills in the name of Jesus. I pray God will raise you out of poverty to where you will not have to be begging man for you to spend money in the name of jesus may your life demonstrates the power the peace the joy the blessing the goodness the love of god may your life demonstrate it may your life demonstrate the glory of god every day every day carry the glory carry the glory in the name of jesus 
Tiffany carried the glory, carried the glory, Pastor Greg. Michelle, you carry the glory. All of you on the prayer line, carry the glory. Tracy, all of you, carry the glory, carry the glory. I want you to say, I'm a glory carrier. Ha! Glory to God. I am a glory carrier. I carry the glory of my Father. Not in arrogance, but in humility, I carry the glory. I carry the glory. I carry the glory of God. I carry the glory of God. I carry the glory of God and I represent God well every day of my life. I represent him with love. I represent him with a servant heart. I represent him with faithfulness. I represent my God. I represent him. I represent God in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. I want you to still go ahead and click the button and share and let somebody you know be blessed by what we've done today. And may God continue to be your source and your resource. You will not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you carry the glory. Yes, you do. You do, you do, you do. You carry the glory. You can begin to look at the mirror and say, I'm a glory carrier. Because God loves me. And I love him. I'm a glory carrier. I'm a glory carrier. The enemy is always wanting to condemn us and make us feel less than. You are not less than. You are fearfully made. You are wonderfully made. You belong to God. You resemble him. You are fearfully made. You are wonderfully made. You belong to God. You resemble him. That's why the devil tremble. Whenever he hears us singing, we are God's own. The apple of his eyes. That's why the devil tremble. Whenever he hears us singing, we are God's own. The apple of his eyes. You are fearfully made, Adriana and Sharon. You are wonderfully made. You belong to God. You resemble him. We are fearfully made. We are wonderfully made. We belong to God. We resemble him. That's why. Don't let nobody tell you you are ugly. You resemble your God. You resemble your father. The beautiful one. The glorious God. We resemble our father. We are made in his image. Don't let no man tear you down. You are special. You are magnificent. You are great. You are smart. You are beautiful. You are successful. You are an overcomer. You are victorious. You are not a victim. You are wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I love you. And I look forward to all of you in Houston. I look forward to seeing you tonight. By the grace of God, we're going to have a Holy Ghost time. And all of you that are outside of Houston, I look forward to joining you by the grace of God on Monday on live Facebook and all of you on the prayer line. Shalom. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God.